The U.S. Weather Bureau has a station in Mauna Loa in Hawaii that has measured carbon dioxide levels since 1959. At that time, there were 312 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In 2018, the figure was 410 parts per million. We're asked to find the increase in carbon dioxide levels and the percent of increase. We're told to round the percent of increase to the nearest tenth of a percent. So because we're concerned about the increase in carbon dioxide levels and the percent of increase, the important information in this problem is the beginning amount of carbon dioxide and the ending amount of carbon dioxide, which in this case, 312 parts per million is the beginning amount and the ending amount is 410 parts per million. To find the amount of change, we take the ending amount and subtract the beginning amount, or we can say the new amount minus the old amount. And if this difference is positive, we have an increase. If it's negative, we have a decrease. Which means in this problem, the amount of change is equal to 410, the ending amount, minus 312, the beginning amount. And 410 minus 312 is equal to 98. Notice how the amount of change is positive, which again does indicate an increase, which we were already told. The increase in carbon dioxide levels was 98 parts per million. And now we need to find the percent of change, which we were already told will be an increase. So if we take a look at the formulas for the amount of change and the percent of change, notice how the numerator for the percent of change is the same as the amount of change. So we can say the percent of change is equal to the amount of change divided by the beginning amount times 100%, or we can say the percent of change is equal to the difference of the ending amount and beginning amount divided by the beginning amount times 100%. If the percent of change is positive, this indicates a percent increase. If it's negative, it indicates a percent decrease. So in our case, the percent of change is equal to, again, the amount of change, which we know is 98, which again is a difference of the ending amount and the beginning amount, divided by the beginning amount, which in this case is 312. So we'll stop here, convert the fraction to a decimal, and then convert the decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100%. And because we want the percent to one decimal place with the tenths place value, we need the decimal rounded to three decimal places. So let's go to the calculator, and we have 98 divided by 312. Enter. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.314. And now to convert the percent to a decimal, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, which gives us 31.4%. Notice how the percent of change is positive, which again indicates an increase, which we've already been told. The percent increase was 31.4%. If the percent of change happens to be negative, we can say the percent of change is negative, but if we indicate a decrease, we would not include the negative sign. I hope you found this helpful.